Come to think of it, I actually really despise Las Vegas. I love Nevada, but I despise the city. Every time you have these events, for example, there's this Formula One racing event. Everything is off the roof. Every place is filled up. Every place is booked. You can't find any places anywhere. Well, maybe you can, but you have to pay up. You're going to pay a much higher rate. So time and again, you have these events where there's some major event. And lo and behold, basically, I was at this one one place, one residence, and basically long-term residence. And basically, we don't know if it's exaggeration, but we asked them twice, this, what's the rate for tonight? It's going to be, uh, you know, I have something available, but it's going to cost you $1,500. I said, $1,500? He said, that's right, $1,500. I still think that's a typo. Is that is that hum is that even economically theoretically possible? So did he misspeak? But he said it twice, fifteen hundred dollars. So that was just so bizarre, because there's every time you have these events, every every place. So the human being behavior is like sheep. This happens in every bloody country. So it's so predictable. Every time you have an event. Places are booked, this human being, sheep-like migration behavior. You have some type of Taylor Swift event, and everything's off the roof. You look at Google, you type in hotels on Google, you see rates skyrocket. So basically, basically a place that's usually 88 bucks becomes, what, 500, 600 bucks? You know, that's, that's absolutely fucking ridiculous. So... Um, and then, you, you know, basically, we do have, we didn't sign, we, you know, basically, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably end up doing it because we did get offered, uh, you know, an option to basically start renting formally, then transition everything over. But basically, you know, we're going to, we're going to see if we want to do that. We'll see if we want to do that. But basically, um, th another topic we wanted to address is the convict criminology thing. So basically this one, you know, basically we don't care about it now. Okay, uh, basically just about, I can't personally do math, so if you rewind time back to 2010, uh, 2005 or something, you know, it's unthinkable to talk about it, but basically, um, you know, when you need a job, you never talk about it. Basically, it's something you want to conceal and you hope it never gets, you know, revealed on a background check. Basically, we're talking about our history with... Um, first degree terroristic threatening, um, you know, basically a weapons related charge and uh, which we beat and we, you know, we had it expunged, but then for a professional related issue. So there, there was a, you know, a little problem that we, we, you know, called the, you know, expungement office. Then, you know, basically we were, we were, you know, trying to address the other, uh, you know, uh, other issues. And then, so basically, uh, the issue with the other felony assaults and then basically you know we we sent some correspondence and you know and we essentially gave up on it so basically you know it's kind of it's kind of funny basically sometimes you forget your own history right okay you thought you had the biggest you had some big problems like first for, uh, uh first degree terroristic threatening a felony committed in the state of hawaii uh you get that if you get once you get that expunged once you get that beat and then all of a sudden you're, you're like and someone tells and then and then basically you know you're informed you have um you know all this second degree first degree felony assault and you know basically i said oh like okay what so i was like on the phone i was like shit ah oh, shit uh, and then someone basically said, yeah, you know, you assaulted someone, you, you battered somebody, and I was like, ah. Well, what, what happens when you have a bad memory? Okay, so, well, well, apparently, yeah, well, okay, so we, we essentially gave up on that. Um, basically, you know, that's where you're, you know, worried about, you, oh, you want to fill out, um, what is it, um, what's the form called? What's the security clearance called? Uh, I forgot exactly which form it is, but, you know, uh, there's confidential positions and uh, basically basic security clearance questionnaire, SF-86. We, we can't pass that shit. We, can, we can't fucking pass that shit. <laughs> you know, what, what is that, the federal government? We can't pass that shit. 
um, because you know basically like, you you want to you want to get a you want to get a security clearance with first degree terrorist threatening. Don't don't think you expunge that. <laughs> Federal government knows that. Uh, you know, and, and felony assault. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get a govern you you're gonna get a security clearance felony assault. You know, get out of here. Uh, just one exception. Uh, my theory is that the IR, no, not the IRS. It's too early in the morning, but basically, Central Intelligence. When if they actually need a field operative, I I, I suspect that they have divisions where you don't do background checks. Where basically you're just uh, on spot field operative. If you have some use, so basically the uh, all the S. SF-86, I have this belief, this kind of conspiratorial belief, that's for regular employees, that's for the employee track. Okay, those are the employee track, but I also believe that they have the system where, you know, basically where they're doing spying, right? And they go to, how do they tap assets in foreign countries, right? So uh, I'm pretty sure that CIA will recruit, when, when it's convenient for them, they will they will probably recruit terrorists, they will probably recruit uh, mafia dons, they will probably recruit um, you know, you can be basically, you know, you know, cartel or something. I have a theory, basically, uh, based on, uh, based on, did I say IRS or CIA? I meant to say, if I said IRS, I want a clear correction there. I meant to say the CIA would likely recruit operatives that have checkered criminal histories. They could, they could have, uh, you know, basically they could be mafia terrorists or something, but basically, uh, there's there's a different way. I I believe there's a different way to do it. Where basically one track is for the employees, right? The employee, the former employee, you do background screening, all that stuff. The other one is where they identify a useful asset in the field. That person can be a murderer. That person could be a murderer. Uh, but basically, uh, if if they can serve the interests of the United States, I'm pretty sure uh, there's an exception there. So basically, there's always rules and exceptions to the law, so, which is. Uh, kind of interesting, but but why am I even talking about this now? Basically, um, you know, since since I don't need a job, and since you know, even if I need a job, I can't get a job, and you know, even if I could get a job, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't do a job because once these don't work, you don't, you you just refuse to work. Um, but basically, am I contributing to the United States? I am because you know, as 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 a capitalist. You know, that's what that's that's the foundation of our economy. That that's that's the motherfucking foundation of the economy. And you know, but anyway, uh, you know, too much talk about Hawaii and all that stuff. I, I there's a part of this uh, checkered image that's blocked out. Um, basically, uh, it's someone uh, essentially drew a swastika. All right, so you know, base so I blocked that out. You know, basically I edited it in Paint, so so you you don't so nobody has to look at a a swastika that's you know basically part of the graffiti mess. Okay, um, I can guarantee you I didn't draw that. Okay, but I, I I I blocked it out. Okay, I don't like, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna have a swastika in the background. That's the words or something like that. You know, I I don't mind seeing graffiti like you know someone wrote. Um, you know, basically, Asian boys, uh, you know, basically, you know, you know, uh, you know, the Asian boys, that's a, it's a gang, okay, um, Asian boys, Oahu, Hawaii, it's a gang, so if you don't know Asian boys, it's a gang, okay, so, you know, I know Asian boys, 